Hey everyone, I'm Liz, aka Sleeping Luna Designs, and I'm a crafting enthusiast. I create cross-stitch patterns, stream on Twitch, but most importantly, I craft. Before we go any further, please make sure to hit subscribe to get notifications on future videos. We'll be creating tutorials, vlogs, reviews, and more. So today we're going to be working on this absolutely wonderful piece by Chatelaine Designs. This is called the Desert Mandala. A little bit about Chatelaine Designs. Martina Rosenberg was the designer and foundress of Chatelaine Designs. I'm actually pulling all of this information off of their website, so I'll post that link down in the description for you. Martina is originally from Germany, so her entire availability of stitching materials was a lot less than what we had in the United States. So when Martina had done some self-publishing for her patterns in different German magazines and then discovered what we had available to us in the United States, she thought she was in a designer heaven and definitely tried to pull from a little bit of everything to you know, make her designs a little bit more unique. Her website states that her goal as a designer was to incorporate many interesting and challenging materials, as well as stitches beyond cross stitch to make the finished embroidery worth the time and money which is involved in them. Chatelaine's signature design is the mandala gardens. So any of the mandala designs, and I'm probably saying that word wrong, I apologize. However, this is one of those series. It's the desert version of this. There are tons of others. You can definitely check them out on the website. I have a few other on my wish list to eventually complete. This particular stitch, when it's going to be finished the way that I'm stitching it, will be 22 inches by 22 inches. When I say the way that I'm stitching it, it means that I was a fool and did not read the instructions first. If you're ever going to do a Chatelaine Designs project, read the instructions first. <laughs> These are designed to be on 16 count fabric, um, I'm using 28 Lu count Lugana and two over two, which means I'm doing two threads over two, like, or two strands of floss over two threads on the fabric, essentially making it 14 count. Because of this, my design is going to be a smidge bigger than originally intended. Martina died in 2017, and it was very sudden and unexpected. However, her daughter Ella decided to step up and take over. Ella isn't a stitcher herself, however, has been doing a great job with learning and also making sure that Chatelaine Designs just stays in the forefront of all the stitching that we can find online. Martina's earlier statement of worth the time and money that has been invested into a project isn't very off here. Starting off with a Chatelaine design isn't necessarily cheap. It took me at least eight months to be able to save up and afford everything I needed for this particular kit. And that was actually with help of my followers over on my Twitch channel which is just linked down below, but you can always find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash sleepinglunadesigns.
There's really only one place to get Chatelaine Design kits, as it were, and it's honestly easiest to purchase a full kit so you can get all of the materials up front. The kits from European Cross Stitch Company, link down below for you, um, do not include the DMC flosses, so you'll need to buy those separately. They also don't include the digital pattern, which I highly recommend the digital pattern over a physical pattern, especially if you use something like Markup RXP or Pattern Keeper. That way you can zoom in and see all of the symbols as you need to. In this instance, what I ended up doing was purchasing fabric separately from the kit that European Cross Stitch Company offers. I purchased my fabric from Be Stitch Me, and Be Stitch Me makes very beautiful hand dyed fabrics. And they also have a Fabric of the Month Club. So you can have fun with all varieties of things regarding fabric. That's gonna do it for today's video. You'll see our stopping point here in just a minute, but let me know in the comments what your favorite Chatelaine Designs pattern is, and also what kind of topics you want me to talk about here in the future as we are just starting out and I just can't wait to bring you all more content. Thanks again, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.